With his song, feel the love, feel the fire, with the fire, with the fire, say I am, with the fire. Hello and welcome back to Russ Plays Games. My name is Russ, and as you can see, we are playing Final Fantasy 3, a.k.a. 6. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust my screen here so that I have a pretty good thing. So when we last left off, um, Edgar was at level 10, um, Locke was at level 9, and Terra was at level 8. <clears throat> this is probably pretty good for where we need to be going into this particular point. Um, so basically... What we are doing is we had this uh, we had this uh, shape that we were following up the mountain and um, as we were heading over we didn't know who the shape was it was just a little shadow so we were like all right well we'll just kind of follow and see where this goes and we came upon the uh, the save point I just didn't want to do too much because I thought if I went ahead and did um, the the next event it would uh, kind of be a little bit too long so because the last because the second part was like super duper 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 long and so i didn't want you guys to be like oh my gosh man you make every part like so freaking long dude what are you doing man so i decided that uh we would not do that we're just gonna go ahead and do it this way um, and so I decided to kind of cut it a little early, and so here we are. And so yeah, Terra and Locke gained a level, so as you can see now, they're they're going pretty good. Um, won't necessarily need too much in terms of magic, but then again, I can use I'll use a tonic for Terra. So yeah, basically how we're doing this is uh, um, how we've been playing this game is just kind of discovering the story and we're just kind of going along, having some fun, relaxing, just playing the game. And so, and I've been kind of reminiscing on, you know, some of the things that happened and, uh, you know, just, just kind of reminiscing on a lot of the things that have been going on in, uh, you know, in this game so yeah so when I had so my friend and I when we first discovered this and we found out that you could have multiple controllers um, we were super excited um, to say the least because we'd never had a Final Fantasy game be multiplayer before and so we were kind of you know like hey this is um, this is kinda crazy like this is this is new. This is something we've never ever seen before. Okay, and so we wanted to try to, you know, capture it the best we could. And so we had a lot of fun just kind of playing through the game. And um, you know, I would come over to his house on like, on like Fridays. You know, would come over if he didn't have anything going on, or if his parents didn't have anything going on, and come over and we'd sit down and we'd start playing the game and we just kind of have fun with it, you know, and we just go and have have good fun. Whoa, who was that? Uh, right there before we uh, before we jumped on in. Uh, what, what was that? Huh? Dad, burn it. Would you stop it? You know, a piece of junk? Stop. Stop poisoning me. It's your stupid bane touch. God, what I wouldn't give for a star pendant right now. <sighs> yeah, so who is that guy? Huh. Could that be who was shadowing us up the mountain? Hint. Yes, it was. Dad, burn it. Stop your bane touch. I'm getting sick and tired of you bane touching me every freaking battle. 
That's three times in a row now. Come on. Did Let's Players curse? Because I didn't spend enough time building up some money so I could buy a freaking antidote? Damn pieces of crap. Oh, f*** you. This is one of the things that I absolutely hate about this. Is that you don't just run right away. You, you have to, like, sit there and hope you can run away. Okay. All right. Var Sabin sent you, right? So meet Vargas. Duncan's son. Who are you? Sabin? Is he here? You were shadowing us earlier, right? Brilliant! And how unlucky it is that you have run into me. Okay, he's got two Ippus. These guys suck ass. Don't even bother. Just kill him. Just kill him. Because you can't, you can't attack Vargas until um, until these Ipus are out of the way. And so I'm going to have to do a cure on everybody. So I'm going to need to keep them up. Come on. I don't know if I can steal anything from him. I don't know if he has anything. Tools. Hmm does have something, but I'm going to have to care again. Okay. Um, let's go. Let's go. We're just going to auto-crossbow. Just auto-crossbow, auto-crossbow, auto-crossbow. That's all they have to do. the matter ow enough off with you now! Give it up, Vargas! Is that you, Saban? Vargas, why'd you do it? How could you do your own father in like that? Fool! He made the mistake of choosing you as his successor! He snubbed me, his only son! No! You were the one he chose! You're a liar! Our master wanted you to be his successor, not me. He appreciated your fine spirit. Enough of your lies! Now have a taste of my superior technique. Mortal attack, blizzard fist. Ah, Sabin, the mess that taught you well. I guess there's no avoiding this. Fate made us train together, and fate will send you to your doom. There's only one way to win this battle. We go down to Blitz. Oops, nope. We go to Blitz. We go like this. Whew. I tire of this. Oh, damn it. It's the opposite way. My bad. You have to push right, left, right. I push left, right, left. Come on, Saban. There's no going back. Nope, it is left, right, left. But for some odd reason, my shield D-pad is being a bitch right now. I'm going to have to really be careful. Ugh. There we go. 
You have to do the pummel technique. What? What the? He already taught you that? If only you hadn't been in such a rush for power. Vargas is dead. Impaled with a trident shot from a spear gun. If you know the movie. Sabin! Big brother? The brothers are reunited. Younger brother? At first glance, I thought he was some bodybuilder who had strayed from his gym. Bodybuilder? I'll take that as a compliment. Anyway, brother, what are you doing here? We're on our way to the Sabil Mountains. To the Returner Hideout, no doubt. I've been watching from afar, hoping that the world might regain some sanity. At this rate, Figaro will be reduced to a puppet state. Our time to strike back has arrived. The Empire is going to pay for what it has done. Think a bear like me could help you in your fight? Not that type of bear. You join us, Sabin? I think Duncan would rest easier if he knew his disciple played a part in bringing peace to the world. Let's get going. All right, so. We now have Sabin. And uh, he's at level 11. He has 146 out of 259. And uh, his skills are Blitz. So you have um, certain defenses um, or certain uh, um, Blitz inputs that you can do in the, in the game. Similar to... Because this... You have to remember that Mortal Kombat came out in like 1994. Okay, 1993, 1994, Street Fighter 2 and Mortal Kombat kind of revolutionized the fighting genre. Before that, fighting games were Karate Champ and the original Street Fighter, which was, they were horrible to control. It was very imprecise. But when Street Fighter 2 and Mortal Kombat came out, it revolutionized the fighting genre. People were in there just dumping quarters and dumping quarters in. And um, you might recognize this one, um, which is Mystical Purity Slams in Enemy. This is Aura Blast. This is the one I will be using the most. Um, and it it's basically, it's a quarter circle forward, okay? If you're, from, from where you are on the screen, it's a quarter circle forward. So it's down, down right, or down left, left, okay? Um, which, if you remember ever playing Street Fighter, this is how you shot a fireball. Okay? So, when they input these blitz attacks, this is where they came from. Okay? And when you see these blitz attacks coming in later incarnations, like in Final Fantasy VIII, for example, with Zell, he has a lot of those similar type attacks because his character is sort of like the more immature version of Sabin here. And then this is the suplex, okay? It's X, Y, down, up. And so when you hear um, the suplex, the phantom train meme, well, I'll show you what that meme looks like when we get there, okay? But for right now... We're not doing too much just because, well, we don't have to at this point. We're basically, um, we're basically just kind of like going around doing our stuff. You know how it goes. And so I'll show you. Um, here's Aura Blast. Um, actually, I'm just going to have her fight. Um, and then I'll just have him use tools. But that's Aura Blast. That is the best freaking um, thing ever. It does so much damage. Even late game, it does a lot of damage. Um, it'll be your go-to. Um, now, there's... I, I found out that there was a way that you can actually 
do the blitz attacks without having to do like an actual quarter circle turn because sometimes with the imprecise nature of the controllers of the time you may not get that quarter circle turn all the time okay and it will say incorrect blitz input <clears throat> so what you do is like for instance um sabin's uh, uh mystical purity here you see where you have the down down left and then left if you press down left left it considers that to be a um quarter circle turn for some odd reason i don't know why they did it that way but they did it that way so if you have something that does that so for instance his ultimate blitz is a full circle a la Liu kang um in mortal kombat <clears throat> but and i think it's like you start you start with one and you end back at the same one and it's basically like you just you you hit the start and then you just basically press down down left left up up right right basically and it and it goes off like nobody's business it is absolutely the best but you can't he learns new things when he levels up um sabin does so as he levels up when he gets to like level 13 or 14 i think it is um he'll gain a new blitz technique um and he will continue to gain new blitz techniques except for his ultimate that you have to learn later on in the game and we'll get to there when we get to there okay and it's it's like really awesome um and uh it's it's pretty sweet but yeah that's Sabin, the blitz the blitz master um i will go ahead and show you um let me see here um, blitz x y down up and then uh i'll show you the their suplex I just didn't want to kill these guys before we had a chance to actually show it off. But that's the suplex, okay? So I've kind of shown off his blitz techniques. And when I get the new ones, I'll show them off. Um, I'll probably have to write them down or remember them. Um, some of these ones I just remember because I, I've i been at this for so freaking long. I just know. Um, and so, yeah, a lot of this is... Um, oops. Um... I'm just gonna end this, but uh, but yeah, it's um, you know I've been I've played the early game so freaking much that I know it so much. It's when I start getting later game is when I start kind of going, man, I'm missing. Um, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save right here so that I still have my original save file. We all know safety saves, safety saves. And welcome to the Returner Hideout. King Edgar, this way, please. Bannon, we brought the girl with us. Is she the one who can talk to espers? Espers? Seemed the Empire had complete control over her. Carrier pigeons brought word that she wiped out 50 of the Empire's best soldiers in a few minutes. That's a lie! Tara, Bannon, she doesn't remember anything! Stay where you are. Perhaps you've heard this story. Once, when people were pure and innocent, there was a box they were told never to open, but one man went and opened it anyway. He unleashed all the evils of the world. Envy, greed, pride, violence, control. All that was left in the box was a single ray of light. Hope. We now confront those evils, and you are that last ray of light, our only hope. 
Bannon! I'm so tired. Let me rest a while. Someone important to me was jailed by the Empire. I hated the Empire ever since. I joined the Returners when I realized the Empire was rotten to the core. I wanted to make a difference. But I have no significant other in my life. That's not entirely true. Besides, I'm sure there are people who feel you're important to them. They are counting on you. This song is known as Terra. It's kind of a slower version of the um, of the song that that plays in the beginning. Please, join us in a battle. Nah. Hidden treasure. So yeah, people are trying to convince Terra that she should be involved in the battle. Okay. And there's a reason why we're going to say no. I'm not going to tell you yet. The only thing I can add is that you can trust my brother implicitly. He's always been fair with me. You can trust him, Terra. Well, don't you dare tell him I said that. The Empire is arresting returners everywhere. We have to discover some means of fighting back, or... It's like a free in, basically. So, there, there is actually a way... I'll, I'll just say this. You can do two things in this particular um, instance, okay? Um, you can say yes, or you can say no. And if you say no three times, you get a pretty good relic, okay? So we're not going to be saying yes right away. Similar things happen, okay? If you say yes or no. Um, the same thing happens, okay? So, basically, it's not that big of a deal if you say yes or no. It all just kind of boils down to everything that's gonna that that's gonna happen. It just is different scenes if you say it one way or the other. It's gonna be tough to talk you into helping us. If we push you too hard. We're no different than the Empire, so we want you to make up your own mind. I appreciate that. But before we do anything else. What we're going to do is we're going to come down here before we go because we've talked to everybody pretty much this guy sells some sprint shoes so I'm going to buy at least one more for now so I'll have two okay um, and then um, let me see here I'm going to buy some more tonics I'm going to buy a few eye drops because we'll probably need them in the battle ahead. I don't need any of those. Don't need any of those. I'll buy one of those at least. That's good. Oops. Stuck in the wall geometry. What am I thinking? Ah! Stupid shield deep pads. Brandon, went outside a moment ago. Uh, 
Have you made a decision? Will you become our last ray of hope? No. I see. Because if you tell him yes, you'll get a relic called the Gauntlet, which I think... Let me see if we have it. Um, no, we don't have it yet. Um, okay, so we learned about it in one of the previous episodes, actually in a couple of previous episodes, when we talked to the when we talked to the person, and then it talked about relics. Um, basically, Gauntlet allows you to hold a, uh, a sword with two hands. You deal more damage with that sword when you do. It's not as powerful as the relic that we're going to get for saying no three times. Okay? So, we're going to come down here again. Talk to him. Have you made the decision? Will you become our last ray of hope? Hell no. I want that. I thought as much. <clears throat> and then we'll say it for the last time. You all sure about this? Notice that each time he turned a quarter turn. So, like, the first time he just said, okay, and he, he put his head down. The next time he turned he turned to the left and he put his head down. And then the last time he turned completely around and faced away from us. <clears throat> hope. How can anyone put their hope in me? What's going on? What happened? Someone did a number on him. S South Figaro Empire took Figaro Come in this way uh. they found us we haven't a moment to lose luck i know someone has to sneak into south figaro and slow the empire down right it's right up your alley good luck tara please wait for me and please don't let a lecherous young king who shall remain nameless near you luck <laughs> Big brother, aren't you ever gonna grow up? <laughs> what are we going to do? Well, let's get down the Leet River and make our way to Narsh. I want to see that Esper for myself. Right, there's a raft by the back entrance. It's a gamble, but we're fresh out of options. You're in danger here. Come with us to Narsh. You'll probably even gain some understandings of your own abilities. We have no time to dilly-dally. Let's make for Narsh. I understand your enemies, but even as we speak, innocent lives are being lost. Please, we need your abilities. This relic will keep you safe. Received Genjai Glove. So, the Genjai Glove gives you the ability. Okay. Um... So we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Whoops! No, we wanna. Um, we wanna well, we wanna do this. Um, and then we're gonna put Terra in the back, and we're gonna put Bannon in the back. Um, and basically, why we're doing that is because we want. Um, all right, he's still got that. Um, let me see here. So basically, what the Genjai glove does is it. It allows you to put a um, each a weapon in each hand. Okay, so if you put that on somebody, they can hold a hand and they can attack twice. There's another relic that you can get later on in the game, and when we get that uh, relic, I'll let you know. But it basically, if you pair it with the Genjai glove, it can allow you to attack up to eight times. It is awesome. Okay. So, we definitely want to make sure that we're, um, you know, that we're doing that, um, that way. So, 
you know, that was the reason why we were going to go ahead and do that. Okay. And we're going to take a nap since the game decided not to refill our magic and uh, hit points. And then we will... Uh, then we'll head back up here. Now, normally I would spend a lot of time grinding. Um... Because Bannon is severely underleveled, but if you place him in the back, Bannon, he's he's an NPC that you can control basically. Um, and what he does, can't really equip him with anything um, or anything like that. But basically, what he does is he has this special ability called Health, and he basically just casts like a Cure Two spell on the entire party. It is um, probably one of the best um things in the game for that okay but basically what i wanted to do was get to um well here we go this raft takes to narsh hop aboard the raft yes okay head towards narsh but protect bannon at all costs if bannon is put out of commission your journey's over so basically, we're just going to kind of cruise down the river here. And if you choose a wrong path, generally what happens is you, you, you loop around and you come back and you're faced with the same, um, uh, you know, thing, basically. Um, you're, you're faced with the same um, choice again. So if you if you choose wrong, then you end up just coming back to the right one you know what i mean um so yeah it's not that big of a deal to you know and and because you have basically free healing you don't really need to use terra to heal okay um and so like this one you have straight you have left you have right so like if we went left i might be the right way <laughs> i don't remember but um but yeah basically i hit those guys with some bio blaster And see, by putting Bannon in the back row, his defense actually goes up. And that's what we want. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, this might have been, that might have been the right way. <laughs> But it doesn't matter. So basically, yeah, with this with this particular party configuration, you're never going to want for anything else. It's basically, I mean, you're never going to have to worry about it because, you know, you're, you're always going to have the healing. Now, if you wanted, um, see, like, here's a, here's a save point. And basically, if you look at it, see, like, he's got 411 to next. He's got 582. She's got 646. He's got 502. So they're all going to level up here in another couple of battles anyway. So it's not like there's that big of a deal. But, um, but yeah, basically, when you're doing this particular party configuration, um, you're going to find that it's a lot easier. Okay. Now, when you get to this point um, right up here, 
there's a way that you are going to be able to um, there's there's a way that you're going to be able to um, like deal basic damage to um, um, or I mean there's gonna be a way that you can go and I'll show you um, I'll show you how that works when we get there. Um, because basically, yeah, um, if you go up, it loops around. Okay. And when you fight the battles, um, I don't care if he gets. Um, I don't care if he gets it. <laughs> I don't care if Bannon gets it. Is he's not actually killing anyone? <laughs> but um, but yeah, basically, um, when you see um certain things, I'm trying to save Terra's magic points as much as possible, um, for the upcoming boss fight. But basically, um, yeah, if you, if you do this loop, okay, and you keep doing the loop, all right, you're going to gain, you know, depending on how many battles you get into as you go around, okay, you're going to be gaining experience points, and that's going to help you, you know, get to the next, you know, few levels and stuff, and... Um, And, you know, it, I mean, there's, there's ways that you can actually get yourself all the way around to, like, level 99, if you, if you do this right. Um, and I haven't been able to get it to work that way. Um, actually, and we'll just fight. Yeah, I was gonna say, if he didn't, if he didn't die, then I'll use the, uh, thing, the, the eye drops, but I'll do that for the next one. But yeah, basically, if you just keep going in that direction, then it's going to keep giving you that much experience points, okay? And so, you know, that's basically what you want to continue doing. You just want to keep fighting that way and, you know... And like I said, you don't have to worry about Bannon because he's not actually fighting, okay? Would you stop doing that? My God. Pissing me off. And I'm basically using this to kind of just level up right now. Might kill him. Nope, didn't. I'll just fight. I don't need to do a blitz. There we go. Alright. Bannon, Edgar, and Sabin. That means Terra's gonna gain a level. And we're probably gonna get into another battle here. Blasters, but uh, hmm, we should do that from now on. <clears throat> okay, so there she goes. Everybody gained some levels. All right, perfect. So now we're gonna go. Um, no, damn it! I pushed left. Fucking thing. 
God, am I getting sick and tired of this crap? Can you imagine if she was standing in the front row? <laughs> and 90 hit. Man. What the? You piece of fucking bullshit. Come on! Work! There. Fuck you, game. Come on! Work! Oh, fuck off! God damn it! Now you're pissing me off! <sighs> okay. I am going to use a tent just to make sure that I've got all full up. Then we're going to fight the boss. And for many of you, this boss might be new, but for a lot of you, you probably know this boss. And if you're like me, you're probably going to be like, oh my god. What? What is it? <laughs> Game over! Don't tease the octopus, kids! Meet Ultros. God, I hate this guy. Hey. Yeah, ouch! Seafood soup! He says that a lot. Delicious morsel. Let me get my bib. Ow! Now do you see why I have her in the back row? Fuck you, Ultros. Ouch! Seafood soup! Muscle heads, hate em. Yo, seafood soup. No, I won't do that for the full time. <laughs> When he does that, it does significantly less damage. And that's it. That's all, friends! I guess we thrashed it. Don't bet on it. It's probably just hiding from us. You! Something stuck to my leg! Terra, or here! It's all right now. Watch out! I'm going to hit it with a blitz! No, Sabin! Don't distract me, brother! He's always been a tad zealous. Sabin! Don't worry about him. 
Are you sure he's okay, Bannon? You should know better than any of us. Any moment, he'll flop right onto the raft. What the? Seems a little too perky. Ah! Sabin! Sabin, take care of yourself! Sabin! Edgar and Terra race toward Narsh while protecting Bannon. But what about Sabin, who was swallowed by the raging waters? And how is Locke faring after having penetrated the Empire's defenses in South Figaro? Is all going according to plan? Choose a scenario, Koopo. All right. Well, I think this is where we're going to leave it off. Um, so, yeah. Um, so as you can see, Mog is now 16, level 16, with uh, 411 hit points. <laughs> um, and if you look at what he's equipped with, um, oh, we can't look at it right now, but anyway, um, he's usually, like, using spears and stuff. Anyway, so, this is where we're gonna leave it. Um, basically in this thing, you pick a person, and then that scenario kind of, like, plays itself out, okay? So, like, if you choose... Sabin, then you play Sabin scenario. If you choose Locke, you play Locke. If you choose Edgar, Terra, and Bannon, you play theirs. And so basically when we join next time, we will go through all three of these scenarios or as many of them as we can do in the time allotted. We may not get through all three of them. We may only get through one of them. It depends. Um, some of these are so like a couple of them like Bannon, um, uh, Terra, and uh, um, Edgar are very, very simple. Um, Lox is, eh, it's decent, but, like, Sabin is extremely long. I usually like to do his first, just because, um, it, it is that long. Um, and I should have, make sure, yep, I have enough money, so if we run into him, we should be able to hire him. All right, um, well, you'll just have to find out who on the next episode. So, go ahead, smash that like button, hit subscribe, drop a comment below, let me know how you're enjoying the Let's Play so far, and, uh, yeah. Let me know just what you think of uh, Final Fantasy III. What are some of your, or uh, six, uh, what is some of your um, fondest memories of this game? Post it up below, and we'll catch you on the next one.